for the trailer. The cattle should be evaluated for apparent health and size and sorted before loading begins. Bulls should not be mixed with mature cows, heifers, or animals with which they may have a large weight disparity. If more than one truckload is going to the same plant, the older animals should be transported on the first truck. When both older cows and stronger younger and or larger cattle are shipped on the same truck or trailer, the stronger larger animals should be kept separate from the older and or smaller ones and loaded first into the compartment closest to the truck cab. The older ones should be loaded last so they can be unloaded first. We always really appreciate it when the trucker gives us a reasonable estimated time of arrival, especially if it's after business hours, so we're not sitting out here in the middle of the night wondering where the truck is. Uh, once they actually get here, uh, to us it's very important that they, load up, they, un they back up very squarely to the chute uh, so that there's not a V in between the back of the truck door and the loading chute for the animals to get their feet caught in. I want those cattle to go on calmly. Uh, you don't have to take all day to load a truck, but they need to move on at a slow pace. I've never understood why people think they can load a, a crowd and chute and uh, push the one that's five or six ahead in the line on a truck by stressing the one at the back of the line, uh, either with hot shot or prods or yelling or paddles or whatever. Uh, you have to establish flow and allow those cattle to go on the truck easily. Certainly the driver does have to take into consideration that uh, he, you know, he can't cram on the lightweight cattle, he can't cram them on really tight in order to achieve his maximum uh, pay weight. He has to back off a little bit on that and allow these cattle some room to, uh, to be able to uh, move around and, and not, not overheat. Uh, particularly in hot weather, overloading a trailer is, is very detrimental to those calves. Uh, increases stress, increases the chance of death loss, animals getting down on a trailer, breaking a leg or uh, injuring themselves in some form or fashion. Uh, as hauling cows, the same thing. It's very important, especially when we're loading uh, taller animals, fat cattle, uh, cows, that we keep the loading order on these trailers that we load the nose, the top deck, and then the belly last. We're down in the belly of this trailer, and when this counterbalance comes down, if you have cattle that are standing below this, when this counterbalance comes down, you can get cattle hurt down here also. That is why we want to load the nose compartments and then the top deck, and we want to come back and load this belly last. You have an obligation to make sure that those animals are cared for properly and not harmed in any way. Basically, anything that is loaded into your liner should not come in contact with a deck or a roof. Uh, it should be able to stand in its natural position and if you if you run into some sort of problem where the cattle are too tall for the doghouse and they're rubbing, uh, we can see some severe damage to the animals and it, it has to be avoided at all costs. When we're not using this compartment we also need to make sure that this gate is shut for future loads, for future sets of cattle, if they don't go back into this area when they're, when they're too tall for that application. One of the first things when we get ready to load cattle, we just want to step inside the trailer or look, look in through the, the side and make sure our clean out traps are shut. Uh, we don't want an animal to stick its leg through here and, and have, a, uh, have an injury. door to the upper compartment, the upper deck, and again we want to make sure that this gate gets pinned out of the way when we're loading this upper deck. Um, before loading cattle, this thing isn't, if this gate's not in the pin position, there's a potential for a few head of cattle to come by this gate and knock it, and swing it shut, cut off your load, and maybe some potential bruising could happen in this gate also. Here's an example of what not to do on these new trailers. I didn't pull out the uh, bull bar on the side of this trailer and uh, this is a potential area for cattle first to balk and not want to come off the trailer and number two they can uh, just plain fall off the ramp right here without this board swung out. Again here's another gate uh, that needs to be certain that we have fastened when we're loading cattle into the belly into the lower compartment. 
when we open this, we want to make sure if this gets fastened that it doesn't come, come open. So this would be a, a typical crowd gate in, in a current day cattle trailers and it's probably a, a point of uh, concern in terms of quality assurance for beef and driver safety. When we're loading this crowd gate with cattle, we want to be sure that the uh, last animal is passed by this gate and to be not too aggressive with the electrical prod, there's a chance that this gate can get packed, kicked back into your driver and uh, we want to make sure we don't pinch that animal down in this opening. Uh, be a potential for some bruising on that animal. When we're hauling cattle over 700 pounds, we want to crank this top deck up in the transport position. We're going to crank it up and secure it. One of the things to remember as a driver, uh, all your uh, pins, your gates, your latches, um, not only are they there to secure the animals, but they're there for your safety and protection. Um, you want to make sure that everything is in good working order. Uh, watch your floors and make sure that they're in, in good repair. Um, and if they're not, report it to your, to your uh, owner so that he can get those taken care of and fixed properly. Um, and the safety in a trailer, a, a lot of it is common sense. Pay attention to, you, to what's happened in the trailer. If you're loading cattle on a trailer that's already had a load in it, you're going to have slicker floors. You're going to need to pay attention to your footing. Uh, all the while, you're trying to read your cattle, know where they're at, know their conditions and their temperaments, uh, keeping safe di distances from your cattle. Uh, one of the biggest things in the, in the trailer is getting kicked from getting too close to an animal. Um, so you want to watch your distances. Use your crowd gates uh, as, as your safety protector uh, to keep yourself safe. Trailers are well built and designed, but this is one pressure point we have to watch when we're training new drivers, this counterbalance door can certainly be a place where a driver can get injured while you're loading cattle in this bottom nose. If an animal would step down on this deck while they're in the process of closing this, this could come back up pretty rapidly, so they need to make sure they're off to the side of this counterbalance gate while they're closing it.